Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Secrets and Silk Blades. We just had a group of fire giants and heckhounds run past us. Paid us no mind. They were very frightened of whatever's directly ahead of us. So let's, now that we've cast all the protective spells we can think of, let's go find out what they were running from. Goes. Purple worms have taken over this chamber. You see an exit to the south and east. What do you do? Oh, uh, let's attack. Okay, at least they're not in melee range this time. Let's see where they are. They're all nicely lined up along the south wall here. And unfortunately, Hosita is way too far, well, she's blocked from moving into position to do a lightning bolt. <clears throat> so... Uh, we've got the usual bless, prayer, haste. Um, we did also add mass invisibility and fire shield for the two mages off scrolls. Crap. Okay, let's try to use our missile weapons to pick these up. Large critters off. Ball is still an idiot. I'm going to assume that since I can't see any of the purple worms nearby, we're probably too far away to use that dart of hornet's nest Gimli, Gimli has. So we'll rely on his bow instead. Oh, it looks like those fireball spells did some good. Well, that one still has plenty of hit points. Okay, we'll have... Teresa probably use that staff thing plus three. Oh, that was the last one. No treasure, but hey, there's an exit to the crevasses just beyond. And it actually might be easier to, a little easier to rest in the crevasses than it is in here, so we're just going to save real quick. And then I think we will try going directly into the crevasses from here. And then rest. You see a tunnel that leads into a blue-white expanse of ice. Okay, so... Okay, we still don't have auto map available. Um, if you've looked at a map of the crevasses, it's one of the main things that breaks the 16 by 16 square rule for game maps. Where are we? Okay. 
yeah, I'm going to pause the recording here, try to rest, and then we will see what there is to see here. So hang on. And we're back. So let's take a look around real quick. Yeah, it's just a little bay there. So just need to go ahead. Pretty straightforward for the moment. Screams echo from the east. Okay, well, I guess we better head east. You hear the trickle of water. Yeah, flavor text. Shrieks echo across the crevasse. Yeah, this is actually a lot like the tunnels in the mines, except you know, different walls. Monsters approach. What do you do? Okay, if we could flee, or we could just attack. Uh, let's see. If we flee, we'll be pursued until we pass through one of the arches. Let's see what happens if we flee. As you turn to leave, the monsters start following you. Of course, the problem with fleeing is that it's easy to get turned around. So now we're going west. They're still following you. As long as I don't have to fight them. You find a packet of documents. One of them is a letter from the clerk that you recorded as Journal Entry 69. So have we seen this letter before? Oh yeah. This is the one where uh, Grognok Ulfrim had offered Sasha a job as his personal scribe if this deal with the Black Circle works out. Yeah, so we, we've seen that before. The clue book says it's a letter from the clerk to the mayor, but no, it's a letter from, I think, basically the mayor to the clerk. Okay, let's see if we can flee. Okay, so we're facing south. Yeah. Hey, truthfully, I don't care if they follow me as long as they don't attack. Ooh, crossroads. Alvaro here spots tracks heading to the east, indicating a large party dragging a resisting woman. The corridor to the north is very smooth and stained red. Yeah. So if we go north, there's going to be a monster's lair, but there would be some treasure. Okay, let's encamp and save real quick. Hopefully we can make room for the treasure.
Yeah, you know, this trail is totally skippable because it's not directly connected with the plot. Okay, let's... Okay. Wall of Ice blasts you back. A huge form rise into view. A Remoraz attacks. That says use magic missile and fireball. Kill it quickly because it can swallow characters whole. There it is. It's actually a rather cute icon. Uh, let's see if necklace of, if we've got the range to use necklace of missiles. Of course not. Oh, well, oh, oh. Fala is an idiot. Yeah, we still got bows equipped from dealing with the purple worms. Ah. On TV there's a special about the historical figure behind the Scottish play. Okay. There's some gems and jewelry. And all that should be magical. But it's random, so we don't know what the pluses are. Okay. Yeah, oh, uh, we probably still have some of those bracers from the mages that we ran into in that top level in the dungeon, so we can drop that junk. Okay. Yeah, those arrows do not bundle with the ones that have already been identified, so maybe they're plus twos at least. Okay. Hopefully those frost giants are done fo following us. Okay, I'm going to try to rememorize spells, and when we come back we'll pick up the trail of that party that apparently was dragging off the Flan Town Clerk, so hang on. Okay, so we're back. We defeated the Vermoraz. Elrir was able to take the, tr the treasure after dropping some spare sets of bracers, so now we're going to go back to the junction. Hopefully without running into those frost giants again. Okay, now we need to go this way. 
to continue along that trail. Ooh, another big open area. Elgar notices that the tracks have split up. The larger group to the southeast. The one with the woman to the east. Okay, if we go southeast... There'd be some black circle mages and black circle lords and legionaries and legion wizards. But there's no particular treasure other than the gear that these guys have on them. Oh, like armor class. Yeah, plate plus three, bracers, armor class three. But truthfully, we've got that kind of that kind of stuff already. So I think we will avoid the southeast passage, and we'll just continue following the group with the woman to the east. that jogs to the northeast. Parts of the wall come crashing down. Okay. A scream much closer to you than before. Okay. That sounds like Sasha's behavior pattern. I think. It's a little bit past grumbling at this point. There's a crash in the distance. Elwer here notices that the woman's captors have gone due east. Oh great, white dragons. Can we flee them? Yeah. The monsters caught you. What do you do? Oh, I suppose we better attack. Okay. Okay, there's frost giants.
Eh, there we go. Okay, well, at least we took care of the dragons. Okay, just hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did finish them off. Yeah, town of platinum basically from the frost giants. No, we don't want that. Let's camp. And we'll try to rememorize the spells that we just used and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're still on the trail of the Flan Town Clerk. You hear a woman screeching in yeah, anger. That's de oh, that's definitely Sasha. Not so much terrified as indignant. You've caught the kidnappers. The captive is the flan clerk from the Black Circle headquarters. It's about time! She screams. <sighs> Not exactly grateful, is she? The kidnappers attack! Yeah, so we have five black circle lords and three black circle wizards. <sighs> Sasha is being such a jerk. Try that. Might not work, but okay. We've at least damaged all the mages, so they won't be able to use spells against us.
There we go. Oh, Kimberly isn't. Oh, I'm amazed he's still standing. Okay, and treasure would be basically the gear that the black circle guys had on them. Okay, I think we'll concentrate on the daggers if we can. Of course, we might not be able to pick up anything. We might not be able to pick up anything. Ah, well, okay. I hope Teresa hasn't used up her ne third necklace of missiles. Okay. Much as I would like to pick up that plate mail, I probably would encumber. Oh yeah, Eladan in particular. Way too much. Okay, let's definitely use Pox's healing ability on Gimli. Which should make fix a bit more doable. We'll just leave the rest of that junk. Well, it took you long enough. I thought you hero types were supposed to protect people like me. Ah, uh, keep it up, lady. We might reconsider that. You listen patiently and record it as journal entry forty-four. <sighs> Well, I had just made my escape and was preparing to return to Flan. I was grabbed by those vile black circle scum. Do they never bathe? The council back at Flan will hear about this. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Mauled by filthy beasts. Started babbling about sacrifices and a dreadlord, dreadlord this, dreadlord that. All they talk about is this dreadlord. If he's so powerful, why does he let these disgusting people serve him? She gets a sly look in her eyes. They dragged me here, and I feigned unconsciousness. I wasn't going to make it easy for them. Scum started whispering about great treasures hidden in the crevasses. The western tunnels and a vorpal something were mentioned. Strange name for a valuable object. Uh, you wouldn't have a spare dress around, would you? Look at my drag through mud and ice. It's absolutely filthy. And my hair! She starts complaining about trivial matters. <sighs> Listen, my kidnappers were talking about some fabulous treasure somewhere in the north and west of here. If you take me there, I'll share it with you. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, honey, we gotta heal the party first. But once we've done that, we'll go follow you on your wild treasure chase. And so we will see you then.